right, welcome to Integral Physics. Today what we're gonna do is take a look at the situation where we have three blocks all stacked one next to the other. And they're resting on a frictionless surface and this smallest block over here is being acted upon by a external force. And in this problem, we're gonna solve for several different things. The first thing I wanna solve for is the acceleration of these three blocks. Then I wanna go through and solve for the normal force between each of these blocks. So the first thing we're gonna do is solve for the acceleration. So to solve for the total acceleration, what we need to do is realize one key concept, and that is that this block cannot pass like a ghost through the other two blocks. And what that means is as this one kilogram block speeds up, the two blocks in front of it are going to have to speed up at the same rate. So to solve for the acceleration, we simply want to look at all three of these blocks as though they are a single entity. See, if all three of these blocks must move together, that means we can treat them as a single six kilogram block that's being pushed on by a nine Newton force. So applying Newton's second law, horizontally we have a net force of nine Newtons and that's causing six kilograms to accelerate in the x-axis. And we find that horizontal acceleration is 1.5 meters per second squared. And realize this is the acceleration of all three of these blocks. So now we're gonna solve for the normal force between each of these blocks. And the easiest place to start is not over here with this one kilogram block, but over here with the three kilogram block. So to find the normal force between the two and the three kilogram block, we're gonna look at the free body diagram of our three kilogram block. See, there's three forces acting on the three kilogram block. There's gravity, or the weight of the block downward, and the normal force upward. Now those two forces cancel each other out which leaves us only with the force by block two acting on block three to the right. And remember, we already solved for the horizontal acceleration of this block right here. So we can apply Newton's second law to this block in order to determine the magnitude of this force between block two and three. Now the only force acting on the block horizontally is this force F23, and that's gonna be equal to the three kilograms of mass multiplied by the acceleration of this block, that's 1.5. And we find the force between block two and three is 4.5 Newtons. So now that we know the normal force between blocks two and three, we can apply that knowledge to the free body diagram of our two kilogram block. See again, just like with our three kilogram block, the weight of the block and the normal force from the ground are gonna cancel each other out. Now in the case of the two kilogram block, what we have now are two horizontal forces. This force over here is the force by block three on block two. Now realize this force is the action reaction pair to this force right here. That was the force by block two on block three. Or to put it in simpler terms, according to Newton's third law, if block two is pushing on block three with a force of 4.5 Newtons to the right, like we saw here, then block three has to be pushing to the left on block two with the same 4.5 Newtons of force. And again, we're gonna apply Newton's second law to this block horizontally. Now looking at this block, we're gonna have the force by block one on block two acting to the right, so I'm gonna call that positive, and then to the left, we're gonna have this force by block three on block two. That is 4.5 Newtons to the left, so it's negative. And that's gonna cause our two kilograms to accelerate at some rate which we already found over here that was 1.5 meters per second squared. So now we've found the force between blocks one and two has a magnitude of 7.5 Newtons. Now we've solved for the acceleration of the blocks as well as the normal force between them. But I'm gonna show you a little trick to double check to make sure we've done absolutely everything correct so far. And the way we're gonna do that is look at the free body diagram of this one kilogram block. See, when we apply Newton's second law to this block in the horizontal axis, we should find that the block accelerates at 1.5 meters per second squared. So 
So we've got nine newtons to the right, and then acting to the left is the force by block two on block one. And again, much like this force between block three and two was an action reaction pair, the force between block one and two is also an action reaction pair. So this force is going to have a magnitude of 7.5 newtons, except that force is to the left rather than to the right like it was on block two. Now this net force is going to cause a one kilogram block to accelerate in the horizontal axis. And we find the acceleration in the horizontal axis is 1.5 meters per second squared. And really all this does is just confirms the acceleration we already found. And it confirms that these two normal forces are in fact correct. So here we've solved for the acceleration as well as the normal force in our three block system. I hope you found this useful. And on that note, that's all for now.